Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with the two inch brush and some blue. And we'll come over here to the sky and just do big X's. And let it blend down about there. Let it get lighter toward the horizon. Keep it nice and dark up at the top. Now with the one inch brush and some white, we can come up here to the sky and just tap in some little clouds. Not a big deal, we're just tapping with the brush. Kind of just let them work, work around like that. Now with the two inch brush, we can come in here and just blend out the bottom of the clouds with just tiny little circles. And then we can lift the cloud and fluff it a little. And then blend it all back down. Now back to that two inch brush that had the blue on it. And we'll come right over here and just pull in from the sides. I think I want like a tiny little pond in the background. So we'll just drop that in. That'd be easy. Now when you're done with that, you can take some green and some brown and black and white. You get a nice little chalky green color. And we can think about some tiny distant background trees. Just push them up, about just like that. Push up with the brush. Now, with a clean brush, you can just pull straight down for some reflections. Grab them and pull down, and then go lightly across. Now, with some yellow and green on the one inch brush, we can come up here and just put a tiny little bit of highlight on the on these trees up here. Not a lot, just a little. These are pretty far back and we, we really don't want a lot of detail. That would kind of ruin the effect. So just, just get a little bit on there and leave them alone. Now when you're done with that, you can take some good dark color on the brush. This is mostly just brown and green and blue. And we come over here and just, just begin dropping in some land. Just like that, no big deal. There, just block it in. Now we'll go through some of that same dark color we were using. And we can come over here and just shape a couple of little trees, just tapping with the brush. Now with some green and yellow on the one inch brush, we can drop a tiny little bit of highlight on these trees. Not a lot, just, just a little bit. There. Now with the two inch brush, we can go back through some of that yellow and a little bit of green. And we can now think about making some nice little grassy areas just by tapping with the brush. Just let them all happen. Now with the clean knife, we can come up here and just scrape away the paint and shape a nice little building up here. Just like that. Just remove a lot of that excess paint. Now with a little bit of brown on the knife, we can just block that in. Just get down a nice dark base coat. Just like that. Now with some brown and white on the knife, we can just highlight this old barn. I guess it's a barn. Just let a little of that run right down. Now with some red and brown on the knife, and a touch of white, red and brown and white. There. We can cut across and get a little roll of paint. And we can just put a few little shingles on this roof. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit of color up here. There, just let the knife bounce down. Now when you're done with that, you can take your knife and just kind of clean up the perspective a little. Just scrape away that extra paint. Now with some brown, we can pop in a nice big old barn door. 
Now back to the brush that we were highlighting with. Go through some of that same yellow we were using. And just tap in a little bit of grass right around that little barn. Just like that. Now with the knife and some brown, we can drop in a nice little path, just right here. Just block it in with some good dark color. There, just like that. Now with some brown and white, we can add just a touch of highlight on that path. Now back to the two inch brush that we were highlighting with, and we can kind of just clean up the edge of the path. Just set it right down into the painting. Now with the knife and some brown, we can add a little fence. It just comes like that. Now with a little bit of brown and white, we can highlight those. Just touch and give a little pull. Touch and pull. Now with a little bit of brown on the knife, you can come over here and shape a couple of little trees that, that are just right here. Now with a little bit of brown and white, we can add just the tiniest little bit of highlight to that tree. Now with the script liner and some brown, we can shape a couple of little limbs on these trees. Just a few. We don't need a whole bunch. Most of them will be covered up. But it's nice to have a few. Now with the one inch brush and some good dark green, brown and green and blue, we can drop a small amount of leaves on these trees just by tapping. Now you can go back to that brush, the one inch brush that we were highlighting with, and drop a small amount of highlight on these leaves just like that. Now when you're done with that, you can go through some nice dark green and pop a couple of little bushes around these trees. Just like that. Now with the one inch brush, we can get some nice light color and just highlight these bushes. Just like that. No big deal. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale. I'll put the link below. Thanks for watching.